Hello, and we're going to play some matches with our Shaman's deck here in Modern. Uh, this hand is the Keep. And uh, let's see what we can do here. Not the fastest hand, but I'll take it. So we have Harbinger into Second Rage Forger and more than enough lands where we don't care that we're um, not going to draw another one right away. Uh, let's get another Forger on top. <coughs> so, at least we can play one, two, three, three <laughs> on our turns here. Curve out a little bit. Planes go. Okay, anything go is good for us. Okay, let's get in there with our hot babe. Oh! Okay, get it, cause she's on fire. Okay, and this dude. This dude's official name is Shut Up Dog. <laughs> he's grabbing an L, uh, a wolf, by the mouth, and he's like, "Listen, shut up, wolf." <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> wolf Skull Shaman, A.K.A. Dog Trainer. Okay, a quarter paladin. That's a blast from the past. He's chilling in the blue and white sun. Um, all right. This is an odd trigger the way it resolves online. Do we want to use? It? Okay, so always yield. Yes. Okay. And. It was not an L, uh, a shaman, so we don't get a free wolf out of the deal. We do, however, get to do this. Pump our guys. Um, I'm just going to swing in with this one because uh, I don't mind trading that. I do want to keep the... Uh, Wolf Skull in play in case I can get some free wolves and you know next turn when I play this it'll be big enough to attack in without one you know trading okay no blocks so that's good next turn we'll get to attack for big damage Opponent on the white bordered white deck for some retina scorching fun. Frontline medic, yeah, okay, that's a decent card. Let's see if he wants to trade damage here. No, already got him. Already got the white weenie deck on the defensive. Okay, that was a really nice draw. Because now I can go Cedar. And now that's going to get a counter also. So bam, 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 Rage Forger. Put a counter on. Everybody attack with these two, probably not being aggressive enough. I just don't want to lose my rage forgers needlessly, trade them off. Because I like all this extra damage it deals. Now with two of them in play, we get double the triggers. Unless the opponent has something serious, uh, he's in for lethal attacks next turn. So he's got like Wrath of God, which he could, but it wouldn't really go well. You know, with the rest of what he's done so far. 
What DOS do you have? Raise the alarm. Okay, so you got you got chumps to block with. But I think you're just dead from rage forger triggers. Okay, I should okay, so moral of the story is auto yes to that. Yes, I would like to reveal another rage forger. Jesus. Thanks, deck. Let's be mean. Okay. And boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> Look at those triggers, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so annoying that they work this way. It should automatically stack them. I know it like F7 automatically stacks life ab like abilities, but if they have a target and you have to choose the target, which like um, when you're playing one on one, this is annoying because it's like I guess you could target yourself, but why would you want to? Opponent is just very very dead here, and. Why he hasn't conceded, I don't know. Yes. Okay. So, opponent's dead with all these still on the stack. And that wasn't counting any of the combat damage. So, Ugh. deck is brutal. Alright, we're going to be on the draw this time. Um... Or we would have been if opponent chose to continue the match, so they, they've had enough. Alright, on to the next one.